I will always protect my family, and now I have a family to protect. The crown is in chaos. Since Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan announced that they were taking a step back from the royal family, fallout has been fierce and fast. I'm Christina Garibaldi, and this is Us Daily. With Meghan back in Canada with baby Archie, who is being cared for by her friend Jessica Mulroney and a nanny, things at the palace are still up in the air. Harry and Meghan dropped the bombshell on the royal family without getting the okay from the queen. And for, and for my wife, you know, there's a, there's a, of course there's a lot of stuff that hurts, um, especially when the majority of it is untrue. A source tells Us Weekly that Harry and Meghan made their statement without the official blessing of the queen. It's not that they didn't care, it was a miscommunication. Probably something that should have been triple checked. Just saying. Um, slightly awkward. Um, this might be a miscommunication. Queen Elizabeth reacted to the news by gathering her relatives for an emergency meeting. A source tells us that the Queen, Prince of Wales, and the Duke of Cambridge have directed their teams to work at pace with the government's and the Sussex's office to find workable solutions. And this is expected to take days, not weeks. Because the British tabloids will destroy your life. Someone else who is not too pleased about Harry and Meghan's shocking move is Prince William. A source tells us that William was blindsided by Harry and Meghan's decision and statement. They went on to say that William is incredibly hurt, but at the same time, he has his own family to focus on and is trying to move forward with his life. But to make matters even worse, the pair released the statement a day before Duchess Kate's birthday, making William feel that they were just rubbing salt in the wounds. Guess that rift is running a little deeper than we really thought. We're, we're brothers. We're will always be brothers. So with the palace falling to pieces, how is everyone else reacting to the news? Well, feelings are mixed. Meghan's BFF Jessica Mulroney appears to be showing support for her. She shared a photo of a quote from filmmaker Gina Carey that read, a strong woman looks a challenge in the eye and gives a wink. While Princess Diana's former chef Darren McGrady slammed Meghan, saying that all she ever wanted to be was famous. He wrote, people saying Princess Diana would be proud don't know Princess Diana. She would have been furious that Harry had been so manipulated. It's not enough to just survive something, right? Like, that's not the point of life. You've got to thrive, you've got to feel happy. And Even Madame Tussauds got in on the action, removing Harry and Meghan from their royal family wax figure set. Boom. Of course, on January 8th, Meghan and Harry released a statement saying they intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. You add this on top of just trying to be a new mom or trying to be a newlywed, it's, um, yeah, well, I guess, and also thank you for asking, because not many people have asked if I'm okay, but it's, uh, it's a very real thing. In their statement, they said they will be splitting their time between the UK and North America, saying, this geographic balance will enable us to raise our son with an appreciation for the royal tradition into which he was born, while also providing our family the space to focus on the next chapter. And this next chapter is certainly going to be one for the history books. For much more on the royal family, make sure to subscribe to Us Weekly's YouTube channel.